In this problem, we need to find the zeros of the polynomial function f of x equals x cubed plus 4x squared minus 16x minus 64. And we also need to state the multiplicity of each zero. Well, how do we find the zeros of any function? Well, we set f of x equal to zero. So I'm going to set this whole expression here equal to zero. So I'm going to have x cubed plus 4x squared minus 16x minus 64, and I'm just going to set it equal to zero. And this is the equation we're going to have to solve. Well, what type of equation do I have here? It's degree three, it's a cubic equation, and there are one, two, three, four terms. When there are four terms, it's always good to try factoring by grouping because if it works, it's very quick and simple. But remember, it doesn't work in all cases. So let's look at the first two terms. What do they have in common? They have a common factor of x squared. And if I factor x squared out of x cubed plus 4x squared, I get left with x plus 4. Then bring down the middle sign. So I'm going to have minus. Now, what do the last two have in common? Well, as 16 divides into 64 evenly, I can factor out a negative 16. If I factor a negative 16 out of negative 16x, it's just going to leave x. If I factor a negative 16 out of a negative 64, it's going to leave plus 4. Did factoring by grouping work in this case? Is this binomial the same as this one? Yes, so it worked in this case. X plus 4 is your common binomial factor that you pull in front. And who does it leave behind? X squared minus 16. So now I have x plus 4 times x squared minus 16 equals 0. Does x squared minus 16 factor? Yes, it's the difference of two squares, so let's factor that quickly. So I have x plus 4 times, here are my two binomial factors for x squared minus 16. The square root of x squared is x, so I have an x and an x. The square root of 16 is 4 and I need opposite signs between them. So now I've totally factored my polynomial. And is there a better way of writing my factors? Notice x plus 4 and x plus 4. I have two identical factors. So I can write this as x plus 4 squared times x minus 4 equals 0. Now, since I have my factors multiplied together equaling zero, I can use the zero product principle. So I'm going to set each factor equal to zero. So x plus 4 squared equals zero, or x minus 4 equals zero. Let's solve these. x plus 4 all squared equals zero when x plus 4 equals zero. Subtract 4 from both sides, I get x equals negative 4. For x minus 4 equals 0, add 4 to both sides, I get x equals 4. So now I have found my two zeros. All I have to do is find their multiplicity. So quickly reviewing multiplicity, if f of x is a polynomial function whose equation is in factored form, then if the factor x minus c appears exactly k times, then we say c is a zero with a multiplicity of k. So in our case, I have x plus 4 all squared. How many times does that factor occur in the equation? Twice. So I know that x equals negative 4 has a multiplicity 
of 2. And if we look at our other 0, x equals 4, it came from x minus 4. And how many times did it occur? Remember, there's an invisible one with two efficient to write up there, so it occurred one time. So then I know that x equals 4 has a multiplicity of just 1. So there are the zeros of this polynomial with their multiplicities.